we thought the best source of energy should come from the sun. A few miles across the desert, the idea is finally catching on with the rest of American civilization. But naturally, it's on a much bigger scale. These are sterling dishes, the daddy of solar power systems. And they may be about to solve the energy crisis facing the cities of the American West. People want to run their air conditioners, their computers, their lights during the day, and we run out of energy. We have a solar furnace 90 million miles away that provides life for all of Earth. In the past, we've been unable to harness that uh, potential because the efficiency, the cost, etc., of the system just didn't make it viable. What's changed is technology. The technology now allows us to uh, build large-scale, highly efficient, cost-effective systems. Each dish tracks the movement of the sun across the sky, focusing the heat onto a single point, where it is converted to electricity. They are twice as efficient as any other solar power system. With one, you could power a small village. A field of them could power a city. Each system produces about 25 kilowatts, which is enough to power about 10 homes. However, we plan to deploy these on a large scale, 20,000 of these, which is massive, about 500 megawatts, which is the equivalent to a coal-fired plant or maybe even a nuclear plant. The ink is just drying on the contract to build the first commercial solar power station. It will fill five square miles of the vast Californian desert with mirrors and will supply electricity to the city of San Diego. In time, as the technology and efficiency improves, systems like these may spread around the world. <laughs> 